Crystal meth officials say it's like a scene out of a TV show, Breaking Bad. Labs in Mexico making loads of crystal meth and then shipping it here. And they say it's getting harder to track down. Sam Spangler has details. Fentanyl grabs lots of headlines because it's dangerous, but also it's relatively new. But a federal agent I spoke to says it's not even close to overtaking meth as Hawaii's most problematic illegal drug. That agent says meth being shipped into Hawaii by Mexican cartels in normal parcels that look just like this one. It's never been worse. Uh, for the past four decades, methamphetamine has been Hawaii's greatest drug threat. According to Yabuta, crystal methamphetamine far outpaces any other kind of overdose causing drugs here in the islands. Officials say 184 of the 226 drug related deaths Hawaii had in 2021 were meth. That's 81%. The problem might be getting worse. This year alone, Sam, we have seized, law enforcement has seized in Hawaii 1,230 pounds of methamphetamine. And that exceeds last year's total in 2021 when, when law enforcement seized 966 pounds. It's the same story in treatment facilities. Most of the people that come to us from Hawaii um, have uh, problems with methamphetamine. I would say 70, about 70 something percent of the people in our program have struggled with uh, meth use. Yabuta says the last reported meth lab in Hawaii was seven years ago. Most are being made in Mexico. He says heroin costs about $120 to $160 a gram. Meth, on the other hand, can be as low as 40 bucks. We're getting 99% pure methamphetamine from the West Coast that comes across the Southwest border being made by Mexican cartels who are killing each other by the thousands in competition to get their product eventually to Hawaii. And they're getting more difficult to intercept. FedEx, UPS, and our postal offices, they're overwhelmed with parcels. They're delivering 24 seven. So to go through all those parcels with a drug detection canine or through investigation, it's overwhelming. So how do we stop it? They say more education and funding is needed. $78 million in federal money is coming to Hawaii for drug treatment. We need legislation that uh, allows people that have drug problems to get treatment rather than maybe long-term incarceration. Um, and we need access to programs. For much more from Nash and different treatment options, you can head over to our website, khon2.com. Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.